We're just going to roll with it. For some reason, YouTube Live is really super wonky in the camera orientation. So let's just get right into it. I've been playing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And to those of you who are new, welcome to Saturday Night Jaw Harp Live, where we play jaw harps from around the world. And we're on, I think, about 15, 13 minutes late. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. Oh, hello. We got people showing up to the YouTube. Yeah, um, I started and stopped the live stream maybe four or five times in a row. Um, what ended up happening is normally we stream in horizontal mode, and for some reason YouTube is locking this screen here. Uh, sounds like a black fire. Oh, this is a um, this is a Czech Brummel uh, raw, uh, Rawbach by Sisolka. I got a black fire here handy, though. Oh, I'll just show you this real quick. This is a harp I was working on for a friend, and I might build more of the uh, more of the bent frame. But check it out. Sound on it's not bad. I left it untuned. I could tune it to a C2 sharp. This uh, the Jaw Harp Johnson series has been every single harp has been D2 except for this one, and this one is uh, right near C2 sharp. <laughs> TDS Harper says YouTube is being weird on my end as well. Yeah, it, it, it's just the lock screen thing kind of threw me off because normally I have my camera tripods or they're just tabletop tripods, but lined up so I can have one horizontal and one uh, uh, vertical right up near each other. So we kind of got this stair-stepped effect where um, I'm in half this camera upright for YouTube and half this camera upright for um, Instagram. But I've been playing a lot of really flexible reeded instruments Really been getting into some Avcharenko. However, I did not, I was not able to publish the unboxing yesterday. It will be next Friday for sure. Porky Miller's got the uh, all the pages done. I've got the video done. <laughs> What's up with the angle? Yeah, YouTube for right now is only accepting this orientation of uh, of, of of the camera. So um, I'm gonna do some research and see what's going on with YouTube, but um, don't know. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, Tyrone Zone 5 says YouTube is changing. Yeah, it, it may be. YouTube may be evolving. A lot more people now are watching with their phones upright than uh, horizontal. So maybe that's a new YouTube uh, change. Be sure to follow Tyrone Zone 5. He, uh, some of his uh, breathing and uh, his heart play as of late has been really, really good. Mr. Tyrone Zone 5. I think um, on Instagram, aren't you at Jerome Bethereum? <laughs> Oh, it's the Harpy. Be sure to follow them. That's the great Porky Miller. Joanne Leclerc says, you had the same thing that happened. Oh, yes, that was because I had several live streams where the technical issues uh, had flared up and it wasn't working, so I deleted them or made them private um, right immediately after. This was this is, this is live stream here is the fifth or sixth attempt, and believe it or not, it's kind of hard to start playing the jaw harp and be all meditative and mellow when you're dealing with technical issues right beforehand. I like it when I set up the, uh, the cameras and things go smoothly, but... In meditation and in jaw harp play, you just kind of got to embrace what you are given. I've been playing this harp as well. I gave the other one to my brother. I got these harps years back from Off Trigger. He made two of them. He said, I'll never make them again. He said it was too much work. He had a ton of welding to do on it. <clears throat> but I've been experimenting around a little bit with singing. And I, um, if you follow me on TikTok or uh, YouTube and see that tutorial on that, I don't know. I just got into the mood of like howling a little bit and singing a little bit. I've at times, I can kind of hone in on what the harp's doing, but uh, it's two separate things. And does anybody out there, do they do much singing? Does any of you out there uh, do much singing when you're playing the harp? Normally, I don't do any vocalization other than snarling and growling and stuff, but uh, I'll just give it a try. <clears throat> I'm a little bit flummy today because allergy season is moving in, and when uh, allergy season mu moves in, uh, be sure to make snotty karate. So I just, uh, in my jaw heart play, I tend to embrace the ca um, the congestion. This is an odd camera angle. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Happy uh, Saturday night back at you, Dual Sport PNW. Harp a lot says, oh, I like the name. Hey, at Bebcore Harp. Hello, I see your Harp. Oh, you got some more Chang in your collection there. <laughs> Nick IRW18 says, hey, I have a question. My boyfriend plays bluegrass banjo, and I have several jaw harps, but I'm looking to get one that has more of a Cajun sound that will go with his banjo playing. Any suggestion? Um, I would say for maybe you want something a little bit loud, a little bit more crackling. Um or something a little bit unsaturated. I don't know. Um, I don't know what occasion sound is. Um, when I'm playing acoustically with people at the Bluegrass Festival, which I'm not going to this year, um, I tend to do a lot of like black fire and bent frame harps. Um, or you could go completely unsaturated, because a lot of the old westerns, those harps are really unsaturated. Um, See, where's that one? Where's my Brummel? I think Brummel are coming back into stock. Maybe a Brummel is kind of halfway in between saturated and unsaturated. And they're really tolerant of plucking in both directions. So either like a Jerome or a Brummel. Or even a bargain, provided it's not a flat front. I wouldn't go with the Glazerin flat fronted style. That's a really robotic sound, and that's going to make your make your bluegrass and your banjo music sound probably futuristic, which is which isn't what you want. <laughs> or maybe it is. Uh, may, maybe is. Does anybody out there make uh, bluegrass techno music? I've heard bluegrass rap before, and it was really good. <laughs> what car? Is that hubcap behind you from? Um, guess it and I'll tell you if you're correct. 
Yeah, I have a Glazron Lighthouse as well. I like Glazron harps when I want something really loud and really robotic sounding, that asymmetrical sound that they have. Um, Glazron harps are really loud. <laughs> T.S. Harper says, I finally found the sweet spot on my lighthouse and now I can't stop playing. Oh, cool. And comment below, what, how do you play it? Do you play it mostly inward, mostly outward? Um, are you really breathy? Are you really doing lots of sound effects? How's your, how do you like to play your uh, lighthouse? Yeah, I, I was trying to add voice and I was doing a much better job of it um, yesterday um, when I was doing it. Um, but what I found is like not to, if you're singing through the harp, don't sing very loud. Try to sing really softly and try to find, there's kind of a place where it kind of matches up with the harp. So try to match the harp's pitch or frequency, maybe. Would that be correct? <laughs> Nope, not a 1978 Oldsmobile. Hear that little ring there? That was a mustache hair getting in there. Um, I should have trimmed a little bit more before doing it right, but that doesn't always happen. Play one more harp. For those of you who are just tuning in, this is the harp I completed yesterday. This is serial number three of the Jaw Harp Johnson. And I did some cool looking engravings and stuff on it. Really happy with, wallet, with uh, how it turned out. Anyways, I'm selling that harp, so I better quit playing it. I really like how it plays, though. It's got a little bit of electricity in the back. This is the first uh, of the harps I made um, using uh, a new style of a grinder honer to hone the decks. And I don't know if I got them completely straight. They're pretty near ground perfect, but we're just a tad bit off. Let's play one more harp. I don't think I've played any Rajasthani Morchang. And playing a Gorka or Gorkara. Anyways, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. Make sure to keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled. And most of all, be good to each other. I love y'all. Oh, Hubcap, there's another guest there. Hubcap Impala. 
Um, oh, Neptune Chipotle is cool. Check out his content. He, he he's a good guy. He's he's the one who taught me that endless draw starting. I can't remember what he called it, but like an endless draw starting thing where you're using a draw start on a harp, and you bring your lips off and blow out to keep the harp going. Lori Cabbage says, yet yeah, I play, and yes, I have false teeth. Oh, cool! You were the first person to ever comment that. Can you comment below? I'll keep the, the, the comments rolling for another minute or so while I play. Um, can you comment below and see, uh, and tell us what it's like to play with uh, false teeth? Um, how you feel the vibrations and, and uh, how you think the heart plays? And I've gotten that question before. Somebody asked, uh, hey, can I play if uh, I have false teeth? And I'm like, I don't know. I've never, uh, never crossed that bridge. Tyrone's on five plays with braces. Oh, cool. And now, are they the traditional looking uh, like metal braces or are they the uh, clear over braces? <laughs> Because I've gotten that, uh, I've gotten that question as well. People asking, "Hey, can I play if I have braces?" I'm like, "Um, I, I don't know. I don't know." Oh, cool! So you can play just fine with metal braces. Harpalot says, "Hit the like button, folks." Oh, thank you. Yeah, the like button's a good button to hit. Hit. And Lori Cabbage says, hi my, hi, my name is Eddie, and the only thing I do is add a small piece of tape to the harp so it's not metal to the teeth. Oh, cool. Good to know. Anyways, I love y'all. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next Saturday for Saturday Night Jaw Harp Live. And the live.